Morning guys, Mick Mike here from Pines Power Sports Marine. A um, little bit warmer temperatures today, a little bit more snow out there. Hoping to get out today on our 850 E-Tech Renegade uh, for some tuning runs, tune the clutching a little bit, play with the cameras a little bit. I've got my Cyclops Gear 360 camera that I've been playing with some split screen effect video and some 360 VR video. I've got a nice little clamp mount on the front bumper here. So we'll see how we make out with that today. Uh, get a couple heat cycles on the engine. Um, get some of the break-in done off of it. Another thing that I'm, I'm concerned about is uh, we've got the inch and three-quarter track on it now. We've dropped from the 25 tooth gear down to a 23 tooth gear and I want to see what RPM we're running. What's our top engine RPM? We're supposed to be at 7900. That's where it creates its 165 horsepower. Um, and I want to see, uh, being that we geared down, what we're revving at for top RPM. If we're over it, if we're hitting the rev limiter, if we're that 881, what have you. And if I am over, I can do a quick adjustment with the clickers on the P-Drive clutch here. They've got a clicker adjustment position that increases or decreases my RPM by 200, depending where I go. It's all numbered. We're set on number 3 right now. If we drop down to 2 or 1, it'll decrease by 200 RPM every position and same thing three or four it'll uh, increase the positioning and basically what it does is it just changes the ramp profile against the roller to allow your clutch to have a little different shift characteristic and uh, and it's just something that you can tune so it's something you can do on the trail with the little tool there's a little screw in here we're just gonna undo and tighten up again and uh, and change my positioning on here and something you can do in the day if you're out riding and you notice that you're you're above your top engine RPM or you're below and you want to just do a fine tune adjustment quick on the trail. It's just like the suspension. It takes two or three seconds. Well, a little more than that. Maybe two or three minutes you can do a quick adjustment and away you go and uh, keep playing around with it. It's a fun little thing uh, to play with once you get familiar with it. It's not hard to do at all. You actually keep your hands nice and warm because usually the engine bay is warm when you do it. So we'll play around with that today. Get out on the trail and try that out. Like I said, we want to get a little bit of the break-in done on it today. Get a little more seat time on it and have a little bit of more fun with it. So you guys, thanks for watching. Any comments, suggestions, um, give me a shout here. And uh, like I said, we're going to get out once the sun gets up, get my gear on and go out for some runs today. Thank you again and stay tuned.